Hey there, gamers. Mark the Lone Gamer here, welcoming you to our new install of Skyrim Special Edition here on my new gaming PC. Now, earlier this week, I just got it into my head that I wanted to see just how good Skyrim would look on a better PC than my older Windows 7 computer. Uh, Long-time viewers will know that all my current Skyrim roleplays are played on a Windows 7 computer. And that's where they will stay until we finish them. But I think we'll be playing future roleplays series on our better, uh, newer computer. And that would probably take a, a bit of time because we still have quite a ways to go in our current role plays. But this early, I want to see how good our Skyrim will look if we installed an ENB and just played it on a much better computer with a much better graphics card. Our gaming PC has an RTX 2060. Not a super card by any means, but it should be a bit better than our older uh, computer, which has a GTX 1650. So let's check it out. I've loaded about 209 mods, and we're using an ENB called Nature, Nature View of Tamriel or NVT. So let's check it out. And here we are! Welcome to Skyrim! With the ENB. Yes, as you can see, a bit of uh, depth of field. And, uh, well, yeah. At least I think... I think my ENB is working. I hope. Uh, this is our new character for for the moment at least unless uh, we screw up her save with all our installs and uninstalls of mods her name is Celine and she's an Imperial and she looks really good so we we installed lots of mods uh, among them Beijing's skin so she won't look that far away from uh, the NPCs who are using the BG series of mods to make them more beautiful and uh, yeah it looks good I think now I assume ENB is working <laughs> does look good and uh, yes we installed other mods to make the game look good. We have uh, a tree mod called Nature of the Wildlands. We have simply bigger trees and for overall visual uh, upgrades we have Skyland which makes the game just look that much better. So, let's check out the world and explore a bit. We have uh, CGO or combat gameplay uh, installed as well as uh, true, true uh, 3D movement. So we can actually dodge. So a bit, a bit of Dark Soul-ish combat. I actually wanted to try some uh, other combat mods, but uh, there are 
there are files or mods which are outdated for the latest version of Skyrim Special Edition, so I wasn't able to do that, fortunately. Maybe in the future. Because this this is a work in progress. We may change mods, make new mods, uh, uh, install new mods, but for right now, uh, it's a nice, really nice looking uh, game. I really like the tree mod. It really refreshes, changes up the world, the way everything looks. I like it. And of course, the lighting is uh, special. Oh, I, again, I assume that ENB is working. Here it is. Uh, I, I'm not really experience with using ENBs. Enable letterbox. <laughs> Make it look like uh, wow, alright. So I think it's morning. Now let's, uh, can we, uh, fix that? Alright, uh, blur, maple depth sharp, yeah, I don't wanna mess, t mess with that too much. Maple vignette, yeah, at least, yes, I think, uh, yeah, ENB is at least working. Uh, we are taking a bit of a hit. We do have the full version of NVT. So, more or less, we are just at about 40 or so frames. It drops to below 40. But in towns and indoors, we can go up higher. Uh, it's because of all, all the graphics mods. Uh, I think the tree mod is... Uh, it's very performance heavy. The ENB itself, uh, even with the full version, I get at least uh, 40 frames, just below 50 or at least the mid 40s. I think it's still tolerable as long as the visuals give something in return. Looks good. So uh, this this is a watchtower leading to Falkreath. It's been added by a mod called Man Those Borders. We have guards here. Now I'm going to be counting on this guard to help us because uh, Celine here is going to get into trouble. I'm going to take on the bandit camp. It's near here. Or anything else. Uh, combat mods. So let's. Yeah. So targeting. So targeting, we, we can target. Oh, well, if we're closer. Whoa, all right, not the direction that we should have taken. All right, let's uh, feed ourselves. Where's... All right, let's head back to the guard. All right, they're coming. 
Let's use our magic. We are a bit of a spell sword. Why did our magic just run out so quickly? <laughs> We were blocking. All right. All right, you're dead. All right. That went better than expected. And there were two guards here. Good. I think there was another one, the archer probably the most dangerous I believe that archer is a bandit from the organized bandits of Skyrim mod we're taking this stuff yep did it, did it go that bad actually it went pretty well yes this is another obis bandit taking her armor um, yeah, we have a uh, UNP uh, installed for the girls. And we have uh, Skyrim, uh, a Sky Sight for the guys. As if uh, anyone cares. <laughs> All right. Oh, damn it. Ooh. All right. After her, all right, all right. I think she still clipped us, but there's, that's nothing. Uh, a bit of healing won't help. You were good, but Celine is was better. Uh, Alright, that's a very awkward position. Alright, that's better. Taking your arrows. Hmm. Now yeah, you can keep your arm. A worthy foe. Anyway, time to reap the rewards. Look at this. All these trees added really, really nice. I like this mod. I wish I could use it for the current Skyrim roleplays, but it would probably just drop the frame rate quite a bit. And I like having a very smooth uh, frame rate for the roleplays. And the roleplays look good right now. I, I don't want to mess with them. Actually, for the longest time, uh, I didn't install uh, Skyrim on the uh, new gaming PC because I was kind of afraid that uh, it might affect the game on my older PC. I don't think that's really a problem because uh, they're, they're on totally different OSs. So it shouldn't be an issue, I, I hope. But just the same, we're going to keep the PCs offline when we play Skyrim. Alright. The music is still... I'm using uh, still Vince Vep. Vince Vep music for Skyrim. I tried using a different music mod uh, called Celtic Music, but apparently it... Uh, it will be copyright claimed if you use it for your videos on YouTube, so unfortunately, we had to take it off. Which is really uh, 
bad or a sad because the music was really, really good. It really suited this setting, this really, really beautiful forest setting. Well, look at that. I don't know. We're not that. We're not that mean. <laughs> All right. Finally, the rain has stopped. You can see how beautiful the world is. At least how nice things look and how detailed the trees are. This is nice. It's not that heavy at ENB. Uh, just the fact that I can still run it at full uh, a full install and still have a decent frame rate even if the the gaming PC is a bit beefy uh, an RTX 2060 card is uh, not a, one of the super GT, uh, RTX cards but it still it still should be able to flex a bit. So for the most part, we have uh, more or less consistent 40, 40 plus frames, which is good enough. As I said, indoors and in dungeons, it should go up to 50 or more. But it's in these places, uh, outdoors, where the trees are very, very uh, large and all over the place. We are going to experience some uh, frame drops. Let's take that. We're going to use that armor. And uh, let's go full heavy at this point. So, let's. Yep. Alright. It's a bit of delay. As you can see, um, we have the mod that puts the shield on on the back, which I think really looks good. I wish I had used it earlier, uh, but for some reason I just wasn't able to get it working on on the other PC. I do like how it looks. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the the default mod only works with vanilla shields. So we should get the best vanilla shield that we can get eventually. Maybe a dragon bone shield. Or maybe the shield of uh, in, uh, in Dawn Guard, the uh, Oriel shield or something. I don't have the patience to try to make the mod work for mod shields. Uh, look at that. So, yeah, even if it, this isn't anywhere near as uh, flashy as some of the Skyrim vids on YouTube who have these supercomputers and all these flashy ENBs, I think this looks great. I don't really want those uh, ENBs which are much too uh, garish, too colorful. I still want a bit of realism. I think this is a good... Uh, this is a good a good level of uh, real but still refreshing to look at so yes we're, we're headed for Falkreath going to go find a companion Wah! We're blocking! There's a bit of delay between blocking and blocking. Or uh, not blocking. Anyway. Yeah, I, I also have to get used to... Uh, is that a skiver? Yes, it is. I have to get used to uh, switching between views. And switching between weapons. Because, yeah, in the middle of a fight, it's 
it's easy to get killed if you're stuck or stuck rolling or because uh, uh, the dodge in uh, CGO it's uh, it's locked to the stealth button so it's uh, easy to if you're in stealth and you have to like run it's easy to just keep rolling when you want to just stand up you just have to be, be patient but the dodge roll, it should be with uh, the dodge should come with a direction when you push the stealth button. So, it, but it tends to sometimes just. Yeah, I want to stand, but sometimes it just goes into a roll. I guess you just have to put in a bit of delay when you press the button, and that takes getting used to. Uh-oh, who's that? Oh! Alright. Alright. Ooh. Alright. Alright, that went perfectly. That's how a fight should go. <laughs> Let them, uh, whiff then retaliate and that's basically how it goes in fighting games too I think we should take the steel battle axe we have a two-handed weapon which is good for uh, varying up things two-handed weapons are good for uh, for taking out multiple opponents you over here so you don't clutter up the road all right all right probably put you under the shade so you, you don't get in the glare of the sun all right bye bye this is a random bandit in the wilds Look, for all we know, there could be a bandit camp here. Anyone here? But yeah, the lock-on feature is a bit hit and miss. It could actually lead to bad stuff happening to you if you lock on. So I, I don't think you should rely on it. I think it's more important for... Um, What's this place? Oh, this is... Um, I don't know what this place is. <laughs> oh, this is... Uh, I think this is the north part of uh, Shriekwind. So they're just Draugr here, I, I guess. I don't think we'd want to go inside um, Shriekwind because it's um, vampires. Light arm, what's light? We could give it to someone if they're into light armor, or we could uh, disenchant it. Alright, just a little spot. We have a mod installed called uh, Interesting Roads, so that adds different features alongside the roads and, and the paths, which uh, change up change up the usual empty areas all right yep north shriek wind and shriek wind's beneath us should we go inside maybe uh, are we going to be brave there are vampires there of course celine shouldn't know that but we know it <laughs> and uh oh oh ancient north there Maybe we should go. Uh, it should level us up. We need to level up. We are sorely under leveled. We are still uh, level one, but just about to level up. 
Look at this, it's so lush. It's like we're adventuring on the forest moon of Endor. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. You only live once, Celine. Well, actually, you... You only... Uh, who are you? Oh, I thought it was a person. <sighs> All right. Let's do it. No guts, no glory, no fortune. All right. Oh. All right. Shit, it's a vampire. <laughs> Alright, we can take her. We can take her. Do your work. Die, 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 die. Die, die. Die, die. Die, come on, die. Um All right. <laughs> As I said, um keep a calm head. Which we did not, but uh still worked. Hide helmet. Uh, we're taking the axe. Let's take the gloves. Alright, uh, I'm not sure it's wise to just have a torch. We need a shield, I think. <sighs> we can level up. Let's, um, let's save leveling up. I think this is a good uh, level of darkness. I don't want it to be too dark because uh, not being able to see sucks. Maybe the music is a bit too loud. That's uh, just the music. Vampires have been feeding, and they are very messy eaters. And who are you? It's the dead bandit, I guess. We have a conjuration spell. We do not. Should have bought one at uh, Riverwood, but well. Celine isn't uh, squeamish with using magic, so she's more of a fighter, but she uses magic when she needs to. A little bit of a spell sword, but not, not someone who really specializes in that. I think she is fascinated with magic. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, come on, die. You're pretty tough for a hat. Right, I hope we haven't caught any disease. Alright, at least uh, severe thirst for water, not not because we, we're thirsting for... Oh no, we didn't get 
Water, we should have got water. Uh, we could have gotten water anywhere outside. Uh, ah, alright. I um, think there was enough water in the food. Alright, it's good. Let's uh, save, just in case. I don't usually save scum, but uh, I don't want to repeat. <laughs> now the thing is, uh, in dungeons rolling, not quite as easy. Two-handed weapons! Maybe we should specialize in two-handed weapons. And the good thing about uh, combat gameplay overhaul, you can do something in one hand, in in your left hand, and still hold on to your um, two-handed weapon. That is a very good addition. So we can actually have a shield. But I don't think it adds anything. I think it's better to just have a uh, heal. There's never anything in coffins. I guess fair enough, they're only really just beds for vampires, but still, I mean, they're containers. Alright, interiors are not very heavy. Uh, we have 60 frames right now, which is good. Did we come from here? I think we came from there. Whoa, all right. Let's go up. I think uh, the, the battle axe is. Good to take out the skeletons. They're basically one shot. Yeah, that's good. That's uh, logical. Because they are just bones. Alright. And uh, the arrows don't really hurt that much. I think we can upgrade our longbow to. I think we can get rid of the longbows. Because they're really crap. Ow! Alright, uh... Who did that? Ow! Oh, shit! Um... Uh, shit! Alright, uh... Have Skeleton Archer is actually pretty good. Where are you? Sniper. one hand the battle axe another feature of CGO but let's uh, keep it ready for swinging ah there's nothing 
nothing. Let's have a torch, at least. So we can have a torch and have our battle axe ready. This is really nice. I guess in dungeons, uh, ENBs don't figure as much. I think there's still depth of field, I guess. And the lighting is really, really nice. But thankfully, it's not as heavy performance-wise. I, I always forget where the switch is. How do we open this? Oh, ah. Uh oh. So he's dodging. Genius over. What? Yeah, all right. Uh, how do we open this? Yeah, hold your horses, skeleton. I forgot how to open this. Uh, my being a total dunce. I thought it was one of the switch here. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> ah. Alright. Oh, the, these skeletons are weak sauce. Watch them kill me with their arrows later. Ooh! Is, is that good? Uh, we already have a mace. I hate... I, I actually don't like this dungeon very much. It look like the. Oh, look, we killed two in one blow. That's two handed weapons for you. Huh? That's awesome. Alright. That's a really nice uh, aspect of uh, combat gameplay overhaul. That the uh, two-handed weapons, you can really fend off a lot of enemies. You, you, because you swing it in a wide arc in front of you. Alright. Alright, let's save our progress. Because, uh... Um, Selene is working hard. She deserves to... Enjoy the fruits of her labor. So I think we can. Yeah, we can take out these skeletons, no problem. The vampire that's waiting upstairs. Not too sure about that. We're going to have to be a bit lucky. Or we could probably just wail on him with a battle axe until he croaks. Alright, I, I think it's not quite as dark here. Oh, I like that. We, we, we have the shield on our back while we have the battle axe out. Maybe, um... Maybe Celine will specialize it. Uh, in, uh, two handed weapons. After this. Up. Uh, 
picked it up. Oh, we have... We have a friend here. Yes, we have a friend. Time to end this. Oh, game. shit. <coughs> ah, shit. All right. You see what I what I meant about All right. Two handed weapons and heavy armor. Equals dead enemies. And a cloak, we finally have a cloak. Thank you, nameless vampire thrall. Just made us look a lot more badass. get his armor we already have two suits of armor well we have a bit of space left we could always sell that all right I think uh, we got a bit of a confidence boost oh for the vampires. God damn, they are messy. Right. Yeah, I think we can probably overwhelm the vampire. We switch to that great sword with magic 16 this is 20 but this causes burn damage yeah let's try it whoa <laughs> all right let's try it and is this a secret passage no 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 i think vampires are weak to flame so it should be should be good. All right. I wish there was a uh, another dungeon theme. I mean, this is not a bad tune for dungeons. A bit too melancholy for my taste, but. Um, it plays it all the time. <laughs> ah. yeah. I think it really hurt a bit. I think this was the guy who gave us a problem a while ago. Maybe we should keep healing up. Fortunately, we know how these vampires think. Tricky, tricky. Alright. This is going to be...
over here. Uh, maybe we can catch him in the fire. Come on, turn off, turn off, please. Hey there. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. You blood sucking freak. Oh shit. Can't tell where it's coming from. Can't tell where it's coming from. Come on, where are you? Where? You yeah, bullshit dodge. We suck. I think he's coming. Damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on. We're wasting arrows here. Hey. So afraid of the vampire, I am just. We should just go in there and wail on him. But um, I want to be a bit clever. All right, I think he's. Come on. Stop running around. Damn it! Let's just hit the door. All right, he's here. Yeah, someone is here. Alright, uh... Oh, oh no! Uh, Alright, let's turn it off. Let him pass through. Come on. No. Oh, f <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Just um Whoa. God damn. Right, he just kills us. <laughs> this super archer. Uh how are we gonna do this? Let's use the voice of the Emperor. Maybe, um... Maybe it'll help a bit. Alright. Oh, come on. All right. Ah, uh, you're dead, bastard. All right. Oh, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> oh well. He, he, whoa, that's why we were dying. Now oh, we're taking. It. Thank you. Thank you very much. They're not touching your armor. You might catch a disease or something. Nice. Alright. Job well done. 
Now where is his treasure? Nothing here. Just the skill book. Two-handed weapons! Very nice. Maybe we should stay with two-handed weapons. Well, it is our first mag magical uh, weapon, the, the two-handed sword. So it might be something that uh, Celine really gets gets with uh, gets behind. That is nice, nice. All right, uh, let's get rid of some of the crappy stuff. You can uh, take that. that behind All right that's it so what's this is our favorite right now this is our weapons let's have that now let's use iron for now let's keep the battle axe battle axe is actually the most damaging but this has magic we can switch to the battle axe if uh, the swords lose charge. Alright. Well, I guess that's it. No, it's not it. There's still something to this to this place. Still one more thing to do. This torch is not very bright. I guess we have to keep our uh, torch up. All right. What is this? All right. Oh, I was charging. <laughs> That's. Oh, All right. Two handed weapon. You don't have anything of value. Uh, we just beat up on a very low level guy. I thought it was a boss. Alright. So, job well done for Celine here. Is this is the exit. So, yeah, that was a look at Skyrim on our gaming PC. And look at this. The world beneath her. So, I think, uh, yeah, um, finally we were able to accomplish uh, stuff. Oh, that's Falkreath down there. A week's worth of work. But I think uh, we got the game up and running. Looks good. And uh, well, it's still not finished. It's, it's still a work in progress. Maybe we'll keep testing. We'll keep playing. Hopefully there, there are no crashes or major uh, issues throughout the game. And if we can finish the game uh, without any problems with this load order, I, I think it'll be ready to use when we finally move on from our current role plays because uh, all of my future Skyrim role plays will probably or most most probably will be played here as for our Windows 7 PC well, we'll keep it as a backup 
because it still is an awesome PC. But I think uh, we should take advantage of the stuff that we have. And uh, yes, I think what we have is pretty good. So I do hope that you all enjoyed this video, uh, our look at uh, our upcoming Skyrim. And uh, I hope that you all, both uh, new and uh, long-time viewers, stay with the channel and uh, keep watching us because, uh, well, we're not going to stop telling stories in Skyrim anytime soon. 